Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. Today we're gonna to be spending some time on the EM test, EM 101. We'll begin the video by going over a little bit about the EM clamp, then we'll move on to running a stress level setting calibration, and then finally, we'll walk through the test setup. The EM101 is an electromagnetic clamp with a frequency range of 150 kilohertz to one gigahertz and a maximum power of 100 watts up to 230 megahertz. This device is designed for compliance testing in accordance with IEC 61000-4-6 and lends itself well to pre-compliance testing, which we may discuss in a later video. We include the FTC101 decoupling network with the rental of the EM101, which is designed to limit the disturbances only to the cables of interest. And you can see that on the right just behind our EM101. We won't be spending too much time on the ferrite decoupling network today. However, we did want to mention it is included with the rental of the EM101. Let's go ahead now and let's spend some time on the calibration. Here you'll find the typical test level calibration setup with the EM101. You'll notice we have the R100N 150 to 50 ohm calibration adapters connected on both ends of our EM101, with one of our R100Ns having a 50 ohm termination load that's going to be on our left side. As you can see, one thing that you do want to be aware of is that you need to ensure that there's a good connection between the calibration adapters and the ground reference plane. We didn't want to drill into the plane for today's video, so you can see we use some copper tape just ensuring that the bottom of that bracket is securely connected to our ground reference plane. Taking a look at our 4070 now, we have the amplifier output going to our 6 dB attenuator and then on the back side to the input on our clamp. Finally, all the way on the right side of the unit, we have our power meter connected to the other side of the clamp, which is not terminated. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at the display on our Tesic NSG4070 and run the test level calibration. All right, here we have our starting screen for our Tesic NSG4070. Now let's go ahead and let's get that calibration going. To do that, go ahead and go to immunity mode. And this is our general immunity mode menu. Um, you can see we have a couple different boxes here. We have a test level currently at six volts. We have our coupling device, which is an EM clamp in accordance with IEC 61000-4-6. We have an internal amplifier selected. And then we have our sweep from 150 kilohertz to 80 megahertz. So everything looks good there. Now let's go ahead and let's click the third item down there uh, on the right for calibration. And then we're interested in system calibration. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit start here and then we'll go ahead and start it again once the calibration has been completed. All right, so our calibration just finished on the system and it looks like everything's good to go. Now let's go ahead and let's take a brief look at the test setup using our EM101. Here we have the test setup with the EM101. As you can see, we still have our 6 dB attenuator from the amplifier output on our conducted RF test system going to the clamp and the calibration adapters have been removed. This setup doesn't include a monitoring probe, which can be needed in some situations. All right, that should complete the video today on the EM101 clamp. We began the video by talking through a bit about the clamp, then we set up and ran the calibration, and then finally, we took a quick look at the test setup. We hope this video has been useful, and please keep us in mind if you ever need to rent any conducted RF test equipment, including the EM101.